So just before I start this video, I want to mention that this video by no means is for personal gain. It is simply just for me to have a Technoblade video on my channel for memorabilia purposes, as there's going to be no real reason to make one in the future. I also highly discourage the channels milking his passing and hope that they get taken down. I've also turned ads off as the last up you from Techno to YouTube, so they can't earn money off of this. Enjoy the video. Starting off like any other Minecraft YouTuber with terrible videos and some random channel we've never heard of. However, he's going to switch channels. Guess what time it is? It's time to switch from Roblox to Team Fortress 2 videos by the end of this channel's life it's gonna do better than i am now and it had less subs then again it was 2013 you could get away with practically anything uh, the channel now has more subs than me still so you guys know what to do after some careful consideration on seeing which game would do good in the future, a 13-year-old Techno decides that he's going to play a popular game called Minecraft on his new YouTube channel, Technoblade. That decision paid off. After some more careful consideration, Technoblade chose to go to the new Hypixel server and attempt to take over and become the most powerful player. While most thought that this was a stupid decision as Mindplex was far superior and stuff, he went with it anyway. And today, no one plays on Mindplex, so that decision also paid off. Then in the first six months, he got 300 subs from Hunger Games and Blitz. I'm still not there. Fast forward a little bit, Techno makes some random video called Proof I Don't Auto Click. It's now one of his most viewed videos. Song. Fast forward a year and a half from when he made his channel, and he has 14k subs. Nice. Then Techno decides to become big brain. Buying ads equals subscribers, subscribers equals views, and views equals money. So he basically found an infinite money glitch and decided to go with it. During this time, Techno took over Blitz to bully the 10 year olds and any potential threats who wanted to become big on YouTube, which once again was a really big brain move. Song 2. The sad part is we actually never got it to 1.2 billion likes so we could never get like a sequel go like it right now then some small game called sky wars came out on a high pixel and people laughed at the idea of fighting people in the air it proceeded to become the most popular mini game in all of minecraft that day jimmy was bullied for being an idiot and thinking sky wars was stupid because it blew up and everyone and their dads was playing the game because the moms were too busy playing candy crush and stuff techno once again being the smartest human alive decided to make sky wars videos because it was free views which basically meant it was free money how does minecraft have more infinite money glitches than GTA. Right around this time, one of the biggest and longest YouTube pranks would be pulled in history when Technoblade's sister called him Dave in a video. Then long story short, Techno just farmed Skywars because it was free views, and during this time he had 100k subs, graduated high school, and got his YouTube rank. So 2017 rolls around and Techno finds a cool hack to get free subs from YouTube. After borrowing Skeppy's idea to livestream for hours, that led to more subs. While borrowing Skeppy's ideas, he also decides to cyberbully him in Skywars, and that's how a friendship was born. While Techno was just farming subs like potatoes, he also beat the game on hardcore on a steering wheel cause why not, it's the natural show of dominance. It also casually just doubled the subscriber count from 150k to 300k, so yeah. Then future English Major Man takes a gap year because free money and subs. Once again, new game on a high pixel where you fight people in the sky and kill them and break their beds so they can't sleep and eventually die due to not having a shelter and back pain because they're forced to sleep on the ground. So it casually gets thousands and thousands of players at a time and becomes the most popular game on Hypixel. Once again, Techno saw free views and money, so he went for it. In order to get more views, Techno decides to break the world record by casually getting a really, really big win streak. It went from beating a world record, which was like 375 or something, to like getting a win streak of 1800 wins. Now, Fork Knife was taken over and Minecraft was slowing down, and Techno was actually losing subs every time he uploaded. He tried to make Fortnite content, but it just wasn't the same. So then, a guy named PewDiePie and a guy named Call Me Carson make two separate videos of just playing the game, and then and some green guy makes a video on PewDiePie and boom, Minecraft is back. So Skyblock comes out, Techno decides to take over the game again. But we gotta rewind. Back when Fortnite was popular, some dude wanted to make a weekly tournament called Fortnite Fridays. This controversial man also made a joke that he wanted to make a tournament called Minecraft Mondays. Then the previous events occur and no one cares about Fortnite and everyone wants Minecraft. So the Minecraft Monday tournament occurs and Techno decides to participate. Hypixel says that if he can win his first ever Minecraft Monday, they'll give him a pig rank, which is custom and special for him and if he continues to win he gets to keep the pig rank long story short tournament happens techno wins and he gets the pig rank then technoblade hits 1 million subscribers he also does an elbow reveal which is infinitely more important because look at that elbow it's amazing but to recap during this time techno was streaming minecraft monday weekly which was giving him free views subs everything he was beating skyblock and he was finally making some random videos with skeppy because skeppy was still a bigger youtuber at this point so it was good for him also during 
this time, he meets some people called Phil and Will who would later become his good friends. So you might be wondering, how is Technoblade's college career going? I mean, he took a gap year, but surely he went back, right? Well, he did, but he dropped out. Minecraft Monday continues normally scheduled and just kidding, GameStar pissed off a bunch of people and suddenly everyone hates Minecraft Monday. Since Minecraft Monday just got cancelled, a new group of people decide that Monday is just not a good day, which to be fair, it isn't and they go for Saturdays. It also crashed because I guess people just don't like Saturdays either. But then a war is brewing. A player named I'm a Squid Kid has been the number one player on Skyblock in Potatoes and since Technoblade was getting free views from Skyblock, he decided to dethrone him, which he did, but Squid wasn't going to back down and a war had begun. During this time, some minded individuals thought about what if the entire earth was scaled down to a block game and they made it into an SMP called SMP Earth. It consisted of people Techno would later become friends with like Annoying Man, I mean Child or Boy, a Song Man and Hardcore Man who died to a baby zombie and many more. Then Minecraft Championship started because I guess people really hated naming it by any days of the week and went for some cool word only English majors use. Techno competed in it, it was pretty good and he's the second best player overall just behind Pizza Hut and if you ask Dream stands behind Dream and Pizza Hut. The potato work continues as Techno starts to pull ahead because he doesn't have a life and farm potatoes for a year straight. Now remember when Techno participated in a little tournament called Minecraft Championship? Well he did it again and this time he actually won. Therefore he was spared from his chat and his chat sort of respected him for once. Not gonna lie, didn't expect a vlog from Technoblade but it was kinda good. Then the potato work came to an end with Techno winning. Techno thought that he'd won but in reality Squid Kid got thousands and thousands of subs and all Techno got was an NPC which disappeared the day after. So in reality, who really won? Remember how Techno's chat doesn't respect them until he wins the tournament? Well, he lost a bunch again. Then he met a guy named Dream, together being the two best Minecrafters. They won the tournament. Chat still didn't respect them because they said he got carried. Remember the SMP thing? Yeah, it ended a long time ago and Dream made a new SMP because he wants to get popular. By this time, there's a clear divide in the Minecraft community on who the best player is. The Dream stands thought that it was Dream who was the best and some of Techno's viewers thought that he was the best. So instead of sending millions of 10 year olds to attack each other on servers, the two YouTubers went to a war. A war funded and sponsored by Mr. Beast. Long story short, Techno won, but with the whole world winners, it was basically a tie. And they both decided to share the money. But in reality, Techno won, and now he was the best Minecraft player ever. So to remember how I mentioned the Dream SMP thing? Well, it's one of the biggest SMPs now, and Techno's on it. He becomes the most powerful player, even though Dream, Bad Boy Halo, and I think Callahan have op. He then decides to ruin Skeppy's day, cause why not? And then he does it again. Some more Dream SMP content and now we get to Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast already has a Minecraft channel and he was the one who sponsored the war between them. He then made a lot of Minecraft videos which had Techno and Dream in them because they were like the two best Minecraft players so of course have them in your videos. Then an anarchist takes over Skyblock after a dictator is finally taken down. Another Dream SMP stream for good measure and now I just want to mention that this is the part where things start to go downhill and it starts to get a lot more sad so I'm gonna stop making my stupid and useless jokes because they're really not funny because this part is important and I want to take it seriously. In a video called Where I've Been, Techno tells us that he has cancer but we casually disregard it because we know Techno never dies and soon after the video a bunch of people say that Techno is going to beat cancer just like he beat Dream. Then Technoblade makes a video with some of his best friends, all British, and it ended up being a pretty entertaining video. After this he decided to raise money for cancer because if they find a cure it's a good thing for him, good thing for like the 19% of the population that has cancer. It's mutually beneficial just just like communism, coming from an anarchist. Some more Dream SMP content, cause it's free money. Then in another video called I might have to become an amputee, Techno then informs us that he might have to become an amputee, and flexes on us how he's gonna have only 205 bones instead of 206. With a strange comedic timing on the video, it was way more funny than serious, despite the video actually being on a pretty serious matter. This caused a lot of us to have a sense of comfort that Techno was doing just fine and he was gonna make it through, because let's be real, Technoblade never dies. Right about this this time, the end of 2021 was rolling around and Techno had made a promise to Tommy that they would both hit 10 million subs just before the year ends. Tommy being Tommy, the annoying child he is, beat it a long time ago and now it was up to Techno to get 1 million subscribers in just a few days. With some YouTube magic along with some YouTube ads and a stream for good measure, Techno hit 10 million subs just before the start of 2022. After the biggest achievement in his career and the one that he'd been aiming for since the start, he made another Dream SMP stream because at this point it was free money. This would unfortunately be Technoblade's last collaboration with any other YouTuber. Techno makes a Minecraft VR video because he wants to beat the game in VR because he's a good player and stuff and he wants to like prove to the world, you know, like I'm the best player, I can do anything. Finally, we get to Technoblade's possibly last video. 
called So Long Nerds. It is the saddest news we've heard in a long time, and while Technolade may be lost to us physically, he will always remain in our hearts and souls as the best and unbeaten Minecraft YouTuber of the century. Look, I know Minecraft's only been around for like 10 years, but like, who's gonna beat him now? You're gonna have to like go up to heaven to go beat him. It's impossible. Also, remember that really long prank that started back in 2015? Well, the prank finally ended when Techno's father revealed to us that his real name is Alex, not Dave. Also, also, Techno released some merch for his death, the classic Technoblade thing to do. It's good merch, go buy it. While most people think that it's sad that Techno is no longer with us, they seem to gloss over the equally sad fact that Techno was not able to get to a thousand videos on his channel, instead only 988. While all the normies and the nerds think that Technoblade lost to cancer, only the Giga Chads know that he pulled a Hail Mary, jumped off the edge into the void just to kill the cancer, but he also lost in the process. This makes the final score Cancer 1. Technoblade one Technoblade never dies. So that's the video. I don't really have an outro, so definitely go donate to Minecrafters vs. Cancer or any other organization. Go buy some Techno merch and never forget the legacy that he left on us and the time we enjoyed with him. Also, go report those sick channels that are milking his death. It's like the dumbest thing I've ever seen, and I've seen the countless amount of commentary YouTubers make videos on them. And as much as I hate commentary YouTubers, this is far worse. Milking someone's death is disgusting. I don't know. Go report their channels. Be Karens. Ask. For the manager and just remember technoblade and the time we had with him not even close baby technoblade never dies